Hi, I'm Dave Levitt, Director of Information Technology at Paul T. University. Today, I wanted to show you how to access Sidebase InfoMaker. InfoMaker is a reporting system that we use for our ERP application. I'm already logged in to the Genzibar EX remote desktop session. So what I'm gonna do is click on the Start button and then go to All Programs, choose Sidebase, and launch InfoMaker. After InfoMaker loads, you'll need to make sure that your database profiles are set up correctly. So I'll click on the database profile tab and I'll make sure that I'm connected to the Genzbar EX share. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on the connect button and I'll be prompted for the SQL Server login. What you wanna do is make sure you check the use trusted connection box. Go ahead and hit okay and now I'm connected to the production database. The next thing you want to do is to set up your InfoMaker Pibbles or your working library. So what I'll do is click on library, and what you'll see here is almost everyone should have the EXV4 Quartz J drive. The J drive is where our main repository of reports are located. So for instance, if I wanted to work in the additional reports area and wanted to work on PAU reports, I would go ahead and right click and set this as my working library. Once that says my working library, I can actually run the reports by right clicking on them and saying run preview. Now, if there were actually data located in this report, it would actually pre-populate here. Um, if you don't get anything right away, you might want to hit the retrieve button. And in this instance, I'm presented with different selection sets. I'd have to know which selection sets um, or actual data I need to enter in these selection sets to retrieve um, the data that I'm requesting. This concludes how to open Sybase InfoMaker and how to set your working library and your trusted connection. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact support at paul2.edu. Thank you.